Hi ladies, how are you? So last night I did a vote on my Facebook page what you wanted to see first, whether it was hair care or how to curl your hair in the new picture that I had just posted. If you didn't yet, go check out my Facebook page. It's Beauty by Carly Bybell and hit the like button, please. And then that way you can have a little insight on what you want to see next. So if you like how my hair looks, please keep watching and I'll show you how I got this. If you like my peekaboo highlights, keep watching till the end so I can show you how I got them. First you're going to want to tie up your hair and leave a small section underneath. When curling your hair it's always important to do small sections at a time and start from the bottom up. It's always easier to pull your hair to the front when curling your hair. Before you start to curl you're going to want to make sure your curling iron has been on for a few minutes so it's extra hot. First you're going to take a section about this small, brush it through with a comb so you make sure it's completely smooth. Lifting the clamp, you're then going to take your hair and wrap it around the curling iron. Once you wrap it around all the way, you're going to shut the clamp so that way it heats up the hair from the top and underneath as well. Be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to burn your fingers. I've done this many times and I promise you it hurts, so do not burn your fingers. As your hair is wrapped around the curling iron, you can test out a piece. If you feel the heat coming through the hair, that's when you know the curl is ready. You're then going to slide the curling iron off of your hair and you're going to get a perfect curl. I just curl it back up with my fingers and I pin it with a bobby pin. That way it cools off and then the curl holds a lot longer. You want to repeat the same step for all the hair on your head. Feel free to do the curls in opposite directions when you're doing it. That just gives it more of a natural look to it. Again, to make sure that the hair is ready, you can test out a piece and then you feel the heat coming through, that's how you know it's done. So again, you're going to pull your hair to the front and brush it out and make sure it's completely smooth.
didn't want to completely bore you and make you watch me curl my entire head. So now I'm just up to the top part of my hair because this part, basically the front pieces I do a little bit different than the rest of my head. You're going to part your hair wherever you normally do and smooth the two pieces down. You're then going to take the one piece of hair and take the curling iron and you're going to want to curl it away from your face. That way it's easier to blend in with the rest of your curls. Next you're going to repeat this on the other side holding the curling iron the opposite way so again you're curling away from your face. Next, take any hairspray of your choice. Mine is a very lightweight hairspray because I don't like my curls being sticky. You're now going to remove all of the bobby pins in your hair. When you first take the bobby pins out, your curls are going to be really tight, so your hair is going to look really short. I just use a brush and I brush the curls out. That way it loosens them a little bit and it also makes them more fluffy. Again, throughout the day your hair is going to fall, so I like doing the smaller curls. That way by the end of the day I know my hair will still be curled. asking about in my last video how I got the highlights or the peekaboo highlights or what you would call them what to tell your stylist well as you can see I don't have them right now because mine are just old extensions that I had dyed a caramel color basically I just wanted to lighten up my hair to make myself look more like Jessica Bersiaga in my last video so if you want the highlights and you don't want to actually ruin your hair you can do what I did and just use a pair of old extensions so if you just wanted to add some highlights, kind of like I did, all you're going to do is you're just going to clip them underneath your hair. And this will just lighten up your hair a little bit. My hair actually used to be this light. I can't even believe it. <laughs> it's so much darker now. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Now you have peekaboo highlights without actually ruining your hair. So these are fun to just put in your hair if you're going out and you want a little change. It does make your hair a lot thicker, so 